RC Davis here with Chris Johnson, the Minnesota Timberwolves. So uh, you're by your old stomping grounds of Santa Cruz where you spent a couple months in the D-League. What's your experience been like since then? Uh, it's been pretty good uh, in Minnesota. Um, you know, I'm just happy to be here, uh, happy to be with this organization. Uh, you know, they've been great since uh, my call-ups. and um, It's just been a great experience. What's the part of your game where you've kind of worked on the most to get up here to the NBA? Um, I'm working on my strength a little bit. Um, I'm just trying to lift um, certain, like, most of the days off uh, that we get. But um, working on post moves. Um, I have a lot of time to, to, to work on some things with the coaches. So uh, they, they also, they also have been great as well. Nate Bjorken said you kind of lived in the gym, so it's not very hard for you to put in the work that it takes to be up here and stay up here. Yeah, uh, that's what it takes, um, especially for myself. Uh, you know, I have to put in more work than, than most guys. Uh, you know, the different different path that I've you know chosen to take to, to get to the situation, and I understand that, and I understand that there's a lot of guys that would love to be in my shoes, and uh, so I just want to take advantage of this great opportunity. This is your first time up. You had a cup of coffee with the Blazers. How's your game changed since your days in Portland? Um, I feel more aggressive. I feel um, I was more passive the, the first time around, and um, you know, by watching film, you kind of, you know, I, I just wanted to see what I could do differently to, you know, pretty much stick. Um, I was moving around a lot, in different teams and things like that. So you just try to find some things to change. You gotta look at yourself in the mirror and um, see what see what you can get better at. Get 15 points in your first T-Wolves game, if I if I know correctly. Yeah. Wolves having trouble with the pressure here. They can't even get it inside the three-point line. Now, Perea does, and he lobs it to the rim. Hello, Chris Johnson. He'll jam it through with the right hand. Welcome to the Wolves, CJ. That was just running the floor, and uh, my, my teammates, uh, they were just great with passing the ball and just putting it on the right spot to, you know, make it just look easy. What part of your game is the coaches here told you you need to work on to stay up here? Um, pretty much just uh, just stay patient and uh, just to continue to keep trying to get ready. Uh, just stay ready. You never know, um, especially this year with this team and you know all the injuries uh, is unfortunate. But uh, just one injury and I could be playing. So um, I hope that doesn't happen uh, for certain guys. Um, so it's, it's all about just you know just staying positive and just trying to stay ready. How do you feel about having your number in Jersey retired at Santa Cruz there? <laughs> no, that was cool. Um, some of the guys uh, text me that, uh, you know, I, I didn't know it was retired. I think it was, I thought it was just uh, for. Oh, it's hanging up. Yeah. It's hanging up. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was just for the call over this year. I didn't know it was retired. You just told me that one. So, no, I didn't know. Get a chance to catch up with any of your teammates from your Santa Cruz days now that they're headed for the playoffs? Yeah, I, I talked to Mikhail. Um, Send uh, coaches a few texts now and then, and uh, just just tell them that I'm, you know, I'm just keeping up with them and things like that, and just thanking them for the, the opportunity uh, for me to just be a part of something like in Santa Cruz, um, especially something new. Uh, just, you know, just uh, that was great to, to be there and be a part of that that fan that fan base there, and how excited they were for games. It was uh, it was pretty exciting there. He's Chris Johnson. I'm RC Davis for SantaCruzBasketball.com.